Hey guys, thanks for stopping by here, thetradinganalyst.com. This is Taylor, and we're going to take a look at a watch list that I've made for this week ahead. Now, what you're looking at right now, uh, I'm going to show you the watch list, and I'm going to show you the charts, and show you exactly what I'm looking at, so this can help you make money in the market this week, all right? Normally, I reserve this watch list only for uh, paying clients at thetradinganalyst.com, but I wanted to give you guys kind of a sneak peek at what you would get if you would join and what all of our current members get um, as well. So um, another thing that's on this sheet too, we actually have all of our open positions. My face is covering um, the uh, uh, our open positions because I don't want to reveal too much to you guys, but uh, because that's only for uh, paying members at thetradinganalyst.com. So. Let's look at this um, watch list here. We have earnings season coming up. So we've got a lot of um, earnings plays, okay? Uh, Netflix here is the first play. Um, we are looking for a, a long position uh, via either calls or a call spread, depending on uh, how the action plays out um, as a reaction to earnings. And I look, I have a... Uh, misspelling I just noticed okay so um, we're looking for Netflix calls if it closes over 362 and 37150 in the same day okay so let's take a look at the chart so Netflix here um, you can see I'll move my face out of the way right here and you can see right here first and foremost um, you can see that Netflix has been basically trading sideways for about three months, something like that, okay? So a very, very tight range overall, okay? So if it breaks out on earnings, um, to me, that is going to signal a pretty big move because when you have sideways trading, when you break out of that range, that move is likely going to be very powerful because you have trends up like this and then you need to rest for a while and then you're ready for a big move okay so if this is a big if we're not gonna right now Netflix is heading lower okay so we're not gonna take this trade unless we see a positive reaction on earnings so don't come at me um, if Amazon or sorry if Netflix tanks on earnings because we didn't enter that trade we're only going to enter this trade if we see a positive reaction on earnings and a close over uh, 372 okay so what it needs to do is it needs to um, close over uh, not only uh, this 362 area but also 372 in the same day so for example if it only closes over 362 um, and then maybe two days later it continues and closes over 372 that is not going to be um, a signal for us it needs to uh, close over both of these levels in the same day so we're looking for a big move for this entry signal so the strategy to explain to you exactly what we're looking at is a false breakdown setup so the first step here, and this is the only strategy we use here at the tradinganalyst.com for every single trade. Okay, there are some slight uh, variations of this um, uh, pattern that you'll kind of see as I cover the other plays on the watch list, but generally they all kind of look the same. So what you need first and foremost is a support level. So we have this support level you can see many times hitting right here, and right now we broke that support level so right now it's a breakdown all right and this is when we put uh, Netflix on the watch list is when it broke this support okay so it went on the watch list I made a video and again I'm not just making this uh, the watch list for our members I'm actually um, making a video kind of like um, this one um, where I'm going over exactly what I'm seeing um, to prepare you guys ahead of time for these trades everything is put on the watch list before we take the trade uh, well not everything about 99 percent of our trades um, are put on the watch list well in advance ahead of time so that you're prepared you know what to expect and you're able to learn um, throughout the process and gain confidence in these trades okay 
So support level, boom, boom, boom. Break the support level. Right now it's just a breakdown. If it reclaims this level and closes over this level, then we'll get long. Okay, so that's the strategy. Okay, that's why we're looking at um, the strategy is a false breakdown um, setup. Okay, and the reason it needs to not only close over this level, um, because that would just be a false breakdown, it needs to close over this level because we don't have a rule um, that we have for the strategy is that it needs to have at least 30 days from the beginning of the support to the end of support when it was broken. Um, in order for us to get long if it just closes over um, that first level. But if it's a shorter term support, this is not 30 days, this is like seven or eight days, or yeah, seven, eight, nine, something like that days, it needs to not only reclaim this support here, but close over the nearest resistance at the same time, all right? I'm not gonna go into a bunch of details exactly why that is, um, but uh, that's just the rules for this strategy, okay? I explain a lot more stuff um, in our membership so you're able to grasp this strategy um, a lot more. So that is Netflix. And Netflix has earnings on the, this week and that is after hours. So that's when we're looking to take the position. Um, well, I'm sorry, no, it'll actually be Wednesday um, will be the actual reaction to it. Um, because we trade uh, options and they're, they're not available after hours. So we have to wait until um, the following day. Um, and that usually um, is a good thing actually because um, a lot of times after hours uh, uh, movers that have a, another day to react um, really kind of uh, ping pong back and forth. You don't see the true reaction until the following day. So that's Netflix. The next one is um, Johnson and Johnson, J and J, and this also has earnings on Tuesday, the 16th of April. Uh, but this is pre-market, so the reaction will be on Tuesday. Okay, so Tuesday is when we're looking to take the position um, on J and J. And again, um, when you have earnings reactions, um, and this goes for Netflix. Um, uh, and UNH, which I'll cover um, later in this video, um, we take um, larger positions um, when our strategy lines up with an earnings reaction, okay? Because they have a, a very, very high likelihood for success. And not only that, but they move really big. So high likelihood for success and a high likelihood that this is going to be uh, a big mover. So um, the next one we're going to take a look at and that's actually, uh, we've been holding a couple of positions um, since uh, last earnings report. Um, Costco, um, Apple, we have long positions on um, that I'm covering behind my uh, face. And I'm only revealing that to you because we've been holding it for uh, a couple of months now. Um, and they're way, way past our entry. And we're really, really nicely um, in the profit. So, um Netflix, uh, J and J. Okay, J and J. We're looking for calls if it closes back above um, 136.80. And again, if this happens before earnings on Monday, we're not going to take this position. We need to wait until after earnings because I don't hold through earnings. Okay, I will close the position if I'm holding a position and there's earnings coming up. I'm going to close the position before earnings. And if it's earnings are about to come out, I don't take that trade until after earnings come out, okay? Because earnings are a big uh, crapshoot a lot of the time. It's kind of guessing, um, and I don't like to do that. Um, we trade conservatively with high probability trades here at the Trading Analyst. So, J&J, 136.80. So, let's take a look at this chart. J and J, here we go. So what we have here is a level of support. You can see lots of touches around that same level. Boom, boom, boom. A couple times before we hear broke below it. Okay. Support, break the support. Right now it's just a breakdown. All right. And what I like about this is that we broke the support, but if you notice, 
we're just hanging out right underneath it. So to me, that's building up energy, okay? So if we see a close back above this level, 136.80, that is gonna be our long signal, especially if it's on earnings. And notice the difference between Netflix and J&J. &J. What's the difference? The difference is this support level lasted for 30 days or more. I think it was about, uh, you know, 32 days, something like that. So that means that all we need is a close back above this support. Whereas if this support level was only, you know, seven or eight days like Netflix, we would need to close above this level as well. All right. Because that's the nearest resistance level. All right. But we don't need that. Uh, to happen because we have 30 days or more of support. That is how, that is a rule of our strategy, okay? It's a rule that I made um, based off of um, back testing and seeing this time and time again, okay? So all we need is a close back above 136.80 um, after earnings is released on Tuesday morning. If that happens, we will get long, all right? That is J and J. The next one we're going to be looking at is Whole Foods, or um, sorry, I always say Whole Foods for uh, Wells Fargo, WFC. Um, it is Wells Fargo. Okay, so we are looking for calls if it closes over $48. Now, uh, I almost said it again. <laughs> uh, Wells Fargo just had earnings come out, okay? And it had a poor reaction to earnings, all right? So we'll look at the chart. I'll move my face down. Wells Fargo. Here we go. Okay. So if you look, Wells Fargo uh, just had an earnings reaction right here. And we broke this pretty big support. You can see about seven or eight days in a row. Boom, boom, boom. Here's another area where it bounces. And again, right here a few times. Boom, boom, boom before we eventually broke it here on earnings, okay? We broke it with heavy volume. Now, right now it's just a breakdown, okay? And I'm not counting on uh, Wells Fargo heading higher, but if it does, then that would be a very powerful reversal signal. So it has to reclaim about $48, okay? So it has to reclaim the support. If it reclaims it, that is our long signal. If it does not reclaim that level, we don't touch it. That's it. Very, very simple. Okay. So, um, and that's the thing, of, that's the beauty of having a strategy. Okay. Um, you trade with ease. There's not a lot of thinking involved, you know, because when you don't have a strategy, and I'm talking from experience, okay, because I haven't always had this strategy, and I know what it's like to trade when you don't have a strategy. Because when you don't have a strategy, you have some things that you're looking at, maybe an indicator that you use or a trend line or a support or a pattern you've seen work a few times. But at the end of the day, you're just kind of using your best judgment based off of your experience. And I can tell you that you, traders, not just you, but all traders, you are your own worst enemy, okay? so. When you have a strategy, you can remove the human element as much as possible, okay? Yes, at the end of the day, you still have to pull the trigger and make this trade. But when you have rules, okay, when you have, I just have a list of things that I look for. Support, break of support, and then if it reclaims that support, I take the trade. Very simple, okay? There's not a lot of thinking involved, okay? I'm not thinking about what Trump says. I'm not thinking about what Jim Cramer says. I'm not thinking about what anybody else on CNBC says or anybody else on Twitter or stock twits or some news uh, article that I read or some blog post. I'm only looking at these simple things because I can tell you that when you don't have a strategy, you're overanalyzing things. You think that you have a strategy, but you really don't. Okay. And again, I'm talking from experience. I know what it's like. So, um really implore you to find a strategy it doesn't have to be this one there's a lot of ways to make money in the market this is not the only strategy out there 
um, that works. Okay, plain and simple. You can turn anything into a strategy. So again, I'll get off my soapbox, but you need a strategy. All right. And if you don't have a strategy and you want to learn a good strategy, watch our videos even better. Join our membership and you can see all of my trades that I make using this strategy and you can see how good it works. Okay, so I'll get off my soapbox. Um, that's uh, Wells Fargo. If it reclaims $48, uh, we're going to be entering into a long position. The next one we are going to be looking at is UNH. And this is one that uh, tanked just recently. Um, and uh, tanked before earnings and it broke support just before earnings and I like that because we have a catalyst now to move us higher okay and again if it doesn't do this then we're not going to take this position okay and I just noticed a uh, typo here let me it's supposed to be 236 there we go. Okay, it's 236. UNH calls if it closes over 236.78. Let's look at the chart. And again, earnings are on Tuesday, the 16th of April, pre-market. So the reaction will be Tuesday. Um, so let's see. I'll move my face out of the way. And we've got, what was it, UNH? Okay, so UNH has a big time level of support and I'll kind of zoom in um, a little bit but you can see I'll, I'll zoom in after I show you this support so you can see right here boom 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 hitting this support it hits it again here a couple of times okay again right here almost hits it here one day hits it uh, right here before eventually boom breaking below it and I love that this is heavy volume right here because when you get heavy volume, um, it really, really creates um, buying uh, pressure, okay? Because uh, volume uh, comes at either tops or bottoms. You can see right here, what happened right here? This big volume day right here, it didn't come up here, okay? It came all the way down here after we had tanked for like three weeks straight. And notice what happened after that? Boom, a big move higher, okay? Same thing over here. Heavy volume down here, we saw a move higher. And again, I am a, a shorter term swing trader. My trades last about, you know, 10 days on average, okay? So this would be a huge win for us when we're buying call options. So would this, okay? It doesn't matter that it tanked afterwards. We would have already exited that position for a very, very nice profit, okay? So right here we have a support level. You've seen the support. Broke the support level right here. If we reclaim this level, close back above these highs right here, that's gonna be the long signal, okay? And it's very, very powerful if you combine that with an earnings reaction, okay? So um, that's the play for UNH. So I hope that by now you've seen that um, Profitable trading, this is what it looks like, okay? It starts with preparation, you have to have a strategy, and then you need to execute on that plan. Obviously, there's a, a several more things that are involved um, in doing that, but hopefully you've gotten a little taste uh, of something that can help you out. And you can see here also that what we do here at the tradinganalyst.com, nothing is by accident, okay? We have a strategy. We have the discipline to stick to it, um, and we have uh, preparation, okay? We're prepared um, ahead of time for these trades, all right? And not only myself is prepared, but my members are prepared. I'm making this written watch list here, and then I'm making a video similar to this um, uh, and sending it out to all of our members. So in addition to that, all of these trades when they are executed are sent out via text message to all of my paying clients. So anytime I'm entering a position like on Netflix or J&J &J or uh, Wells Fargo or UNH, I'm going to send out a text message in real time notifying members 
of my exact entry price. When I exit the trade, I send a text message in real time as I'm exiting the trade here with my cell phone and I send you a message telling you my exact exit price via text message, okay? So if that sounds something that you're interested in um, hearing more about and taking part in, then I suggest that you join our premium membership community today. You're gonna to get watch lists like this. You're going to get access to our portfolio tracker where you're gonna see all of our open positions that are uh, being hidden right now uh, behind my face. You're going to see um, the video analysis. You're going to get real-time trade alerts when I enter and exit a position. And you're going to finally be able to make consistent returns in the market. And how do I know that? Well, because we actually make consistent returns. So you see that not only are we prepared, um, we have a strategy, but you can see right here it works, all right? You can see that our average winner is almost twice as big as our average loser right here, all right? And you can see that since July of 2018, our portfolio tracker is up $229,000, okay? And this follows all of our trades. Every single trade that we make gets uploaded here on this portfolio tracker. The wins, the losses, the break-even trades, everything gets put on this portfolio tracker. And you can see here, um, we are making money with this strategy, and you can too when you join. So if you wanna make winning, winning trades on a consistent basis using a strategy that works in both up and down markets, okay? That's another key thing, because if we see another turn in the market, we do take um, uh, short positions via put options. This strategy works just as well on the way up as it does on the way down. So if you want a strategy and trades that can help you make money consistently in both up and down markets, and you wanna receive a text message anytime I'm entering and exiting a position, then sign up today, and I look forward to seeing you in there.